So first thing that I do is go over to Locate Part or Inspect Parts. The tool is in both. And I select one, I go down to Location Tools, find PatMax Pattern, and add it. This brings me my model box and my search box. So I'm going to take the model box, I'm going to put it over the feature of interest. So in this case, it's the 2 of the 2% milk. And I'm going to reduce the size of the search box just to make it run a little faster. Because there's areas in this image that this 2% won't be, so uh, why search them? I can also go down here and change the, the region type from rectangle to circle or whatever I want, but I'm pretty happy with this, so I'm just going to stick with this. So I click OK, and there we go. The tool has trained this uh, feature here, so it can find it in uh, subsequent images. You can see the trained image here. And we can check the calibration of the tool by cycling through saved images. So as I do this, pay attention to this result score uh, because it shows how well the trained image pattern matches a pattern found in the image. So let me just cycle through. Okay, so about 77%, so less, but that's to be expected. Here we've got 57. So this isn't a very good fit. And so when we don't have a good fit, we need to go down to the settings and change some of them. So the main settings that uh, we normally look at are the accept, contrast, rotation, uh, scale, uh, thresholds. The accept threshold is the result score that uh, will be accepted. So if I was to change this to 60, the, uh, this would fail. There, failed. Uh, contrast threshold is the minimum acceptable amount of contrast between the features of the trained image. Increasing this value increase the minimum contrast to search for as a tool is scanning. And so we set it high for binary, so very black and white images, but for images with gray transitions, it can be low. But normally we can just keep this low and it will accept pretty much everything, which is what we want here. Our rotation tolerance, scale tolerance, is how far it can be from, how, how much it can be rotated and how big or small it can be. So because this one moved back, I'm going to modify my scale tolerance. There we go. So just by doing that, the score increased to 96% there. Right, so let's keep going through. Yeah, I'm getting some good results. Something else to go through is you look over here is, through, is with the model tab. I can go and I can add regions to the model region. I can do that with the search as well. Uh, both are the same, so I'll just show you the, uh, the search. So click a rectangle and in this case I want to want to subtract. So I can take this rectangle, and if I move it through here, it won't search this region. So there you go. This is PatMax, most common settings. I hope you found this video useful. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any other questions, check out our other videos or get in contact with us through our website. And be sure to follow us on LinkedIn to stay current with the latest products.